What up, though? What up, though? Welcome to Woman Crush Every, Every day, day, where we discuss queer media, especially when it is black, black. and especially when it is woman. woman. I'm your host, Tang B, a.k.a. Sean B. Scribe. And I'm your host, Allison, a.k.a. Al Wu. And today, we are going to discuss Mercedes and Thera on P Valley. Yes, but indeed. But first, subscribe to the channel. You know how we do. We get down. We watch these black queer women in these shows and you know build this repository of information and dialogue so yeah if you're interested in that tap in yes. with the family yes please please do um all right so p valley is on stars yes it is a show that is um it started with pussy valley which mm-hmm. was uh the play written by katori hall katori hall is still the main writer and producer for this show uh p valley um and yeah so we're gonna talk about it there's lots of gay stuff going on but there's some like lesbian stuff too yeah yeah so if you don't follow p valley already it's a it follows the dancers at this club called the pink. Um, and it's headed by the pink is headed by uncle Clifford, who is a non, I would say maybe gender non-conforming, yeah. um, individual. And, um, th- we do follow a lot of male queer characters, black yeah. male queer characters throughout this series. Um, and that's cool. And we, and also we really dive much deeper this season into these black male queer stories. Yeah. But we get this beautiful little sprinkle of Mercedes and Farah, which was really surprising to us because we were just watching the show already. Oh, yeah. But I was there for Uncle Clifford and Lil' Murder. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm here for I it. I love how and, you said Lil' Murder. Okay, Lil' Murder. Lil' Murder. Lil' Murder. Lil' Murder. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I was always there for... Uh, Mercedes and mm-hmm. her gorgeous, gorgeous dancing. And shout Amazing. out to the person who does stunt doubles for her. I got to remember her name, but she's also amazing. <laughs> um, and um, and Mississippi. I'm there to see Mississippi dance. Too. Miss Mississippi, I mean, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Indeed. All right. So let's talk about Mercedes and Fair. Mercedes is the main character on the show. And how we get Farah is Mercedes is, you know, she always trying to leave the pink. She, she's at retiring age for being a stripper at a place. And so she calls up one of her old, I think, track coaches. Mm-hmm. Um, and he wants the private Mercedes experience. And he is willing to pay top dollar. Top dollar. He's like super baller, too. Yeah. I don't know, like, what, what he's, maybe, what he might be a football coach, coach or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I think he's coaching some, like, professional team or college team or something. But he's doing really well financially yeah. and wants the Mercedes experience and his home. Yes, he wants his own private Mercedes experience. Yeah, she's trying to break away from the strip life. And he's like, look, I'll take care of you. Just live with me for a little bit and mm-hmm. all that good stuff. So Mercedes said that she's such an upstanding woman that before she entered into this contractual agreement, she reaches out to Coach's wife to get her approval. Yeah. Coach's wife is named Farah, mm-hmm. And there we go. That's how we you get know, <laughs> You know, you know. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And at first it seems like, okay, she's going to do the experience. Farah is there. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's like, okay. And it's still supposed to be primarily about coach, but then it turns into something more. Mm-hmm. Where Farah wants to be more involved and then decides she wants her own private Mercedes experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, it gets hot. It does. And she, after Mercedes does this dance for her, Farah takes photos. She Which does she's this, not supposed to be doing. Taking photos. Yeah, yeah. She had signed an NDA. Like Mercedes had signed an NDA. So there's mm-hmm. supposed to be no photos of this. Um, but Farah does all these photos anyway because she's so enamored with Mercedes. And also feel like she needs, she feels, for Farah feels. She needs to capture these photos for Mercedes to see herself. Mm -hmm. As she sees her. She sees her as so powerful Mm -hmm. and, you know, really staking her claim and nobody can take anything away from her. Fair was kind of like really trying to talk to her like she was a hoe at first. And then Mercedes did a very, you know, 
nice, quick and neat job of putting her in her place and being like, we all hold for something. And from that point on, Farrah was like, I'm hooked. Mm -hmm. I need more Mercedes. (laughs) I need more Mercedes. Somebody to talk to me like this. Yes. And I, let me tell you, yeah, we were here for it. Yeah. We were here for it. So. Let's go ahead and get into our usual questions. Now that we've gotten everybody up to speed on what's happening yes, between Mercedes. Yes, this is a season two thing as well. So if you're just starting P-Valley, you got to skip to season two if you want the Les action. Yes, indeedy. Yeah. So, favorite part. What was yours? Favorite part. Um, my favorite part was when Farrah calls Mercedes. This is after Mercedes has said, you know, she's... She's not down with the lesbian stuff. She's just did that for work, all of that. And Farrah still calls her and says she had a whole gallery of her photos featuring Mercedes and they look gorgeous. And she's being a bad bitch, making her money. And she sends Mercedes her portion of the proceeds, 30K. Mm -hmm. You know, I wish that was my portion. You feel me? Of really anything. <laughs> Give me 30K. Yes, um, I need $30,000 checks at my doorstep. royalties. She gives her the royalties too. Um, And Mercedes is like taken aback and she's just like, this is what you deserve. And to me, that was just the most hot lesbian moment right there to say like, not only do I find you fine, not only was I super excited to get up in that pussy, not only was I, do, do I feel like, you know, my husband was wrong for how he did you, but I'm a stand up person and I recognize your value and I'm gonna make sure you're paid that and some. Mm-hmm. And I just thought that was such a beautiful way for Farrah to wrap up this moment that they had that she could have just been like, okay, well, fuck you and whatever. If you don't want to be down with me, then whatever, you just a hoe anyway. Um, but she didn't do that at all. She really, I think, genuinely showed and demonstrated that she cares for Mercedes and she cares for the women that she interacts with. And I was like, you hot, Farrah. That's hot. That's not. <laughs> you just want drop. somebody to send you a thirty thousand. I'm check. definitely giving Farrah my That's cash app. You just want you can you get the cash app, Farrah, for sure. <laughs> uh, no doubt. Well, uh, I would say, um, my favorite scene. Uh, damn, what did I say? My favorite scene was because now I'm thinking about the whole show. Um, <laughs> And just being nasty. Uh, wait a second. My favorite scene was um, Farah. Well, one of I guess I have to say one of my favorite scenes. Farah taking pictures of Mercedes and like what was really really cool about that photography scene is like it was like the sunset and she's like doing these moves and it was just really beautiful. Like, um, and then you know once they got printed too, I think and then that moment when Farah brings Mercedes into the gallery and it's just like, look at yourself, like yeah, in all of your glory and that people want to come and see you in this way. Like you can, you can continue to be the artist that you are, even if your body isn't able to do all the things that it was able to do. You're still yeah. valuable. You're still worthy. And there you go. That was so beautiful because Mercedes is also injured this season. So she can't do the pole tricks that she's used to doing. And that's like her bread and butter. She She's an acrobat. She, she can do all mm-hmm. of these amazing sh- tricks. But because she has this shoulder injury, she doesn't have the strength that she's used to having and the balance. And she's falling off the pole. Got real dramatic this season. Uh, I was scared for her. Yeah. Um, and so seeing herself in these pictures and still looking strong, even though she knows what it felt like to be in that position. Um, and I think fair just recognizing, like, even though you say you were in pain, like, just look, mm-hmm. just look at you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Um, so that's just a beautiful point to to bring in. Yeah. Okay. So woman crush. Oh, I mean, at first, you know, Mercedes has been my woman crush, but I have to say for this round, fair is the woman crush one, because Mercedes, she tried to pussy and then she was off of it. And to me, that just X's you out of the crush. (laughs) Uh, but Farah, I feel like she had a real character growth 
uh, over the little bit of time that we got to spend with her as, as a character. And, um, I really liked her. I found her sweet and strong. I'll take that. I'll take that. I agree. I think Farrah is definitely the woman crush. One, just because she's like the lesbian in this. Um, When Coach found out that there was something happening between his wife and Mercedes, he was trying to get it on his threesome and then realized, wait a second. Y'all know how to pleasure each other already. They're enjoying each other's (laughs) company. So he got really upset. And then Farrah is like... I'm gay anyway. You know how you ain't know I like pussy. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, but, and uh, I think actually that might be the favorite moment. That, she that was, was like, great. Actually, sir. I, I've been liking pussy this whole time. And I probably, tr- I treat it better than you. I I do everything better than you. And I'm way better than you. And yeah, so <laughs> great scene. But um, I think that's what made Farah my woman crush. Um, yeah. Because she actually... This is the only time in in P Valley that we have a woman who stands in her queerness. Yeah, and it isn't performative. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, yes, it's beautiful to have the fantasy of Farah and Mercedes. Yeah, but the fact that Farah is taking this outside of the fantasy and saying, "Actually, I'm willing to put everything on the line. I yeah. want to change my life. I'm leaving this relationship, Mercedes. You have shown me the light." Um, and I'm powerful. Right. I, I'm going to, like, live in my power. You know, hilarious. <laughs> yeah, so Farrah all day. Yeah. The show. Um, all right, well, what can stay? What can go? What can stay is a lesbian story in P-Valley. Yeah. Please keep that. Please more. keep that. More, because, more, more. I give mean, me, give don't me, give me. me. I, I feel like the show is called P-Valley. What you mean? How we in yeah. a valley of pussy and we talking about dicks all day? What is we talking <laughs> about? How is that happening? So I definitely want more pussy related stories um, <laughs> in Pussy Valley. Yeah. Seems to only make sense. What can go... Uh, yeah, it's just kind of this, this queer baiting, like this teasing... Of this relationship, I mean, I do feel like there's potential for us to come back around to Mercedes yeah. in in Farah's relationship. Yeah. Um. You know, which of course we would stand for, but I uh, I just don't I don't I don't know I don't believe that I don't, I don't have a lot feel of hope. strongly <laughs> that Mercedes is a queer character. Yeah. So I just want to see queer female representation on the show yes agreed yeah i would like to for sure um uh, see more pussies on pussy valley m- couldn't have said it better myself i'm sorry more <laughs> pussies <laughs> um yeah i think definitely more pussy can stay i hope Farah stays as some kind of peripheral character who maybe gets to come in and do a little bit more um I think what can go is, I mean, the way the story turned out, it was fine. But, you know, it's annoying when the entryway to the queer women is through a man. Um, But what can stay is at the end of the day, at the end of this story, um, the way that things wrapped up with them and that it really was in their hands. Um, They didn't take the 90s cue of like, and now Farrah's going to like side with her husband and go back to him. Mm -hmm. She really stood her own and made a new decision about life and is being a boss bitch (laughs) Mm -hmm. in the meantime. So that can definitely continue to stay. Um, No doubt. Where does this fit in the queer canon? I was going to ask you. Um, (laughs) Let's see. I mean, for me, I feel like uh, I I struggle. I struggle because, you know, thinking about the title Pussy Valley and the the pussy that we see, but like the, I don't know, there's, you know, there's, I don't feel like there's enough. I, I want woman loving woman relationships in a show called Pussy Valley, at least a drop. Like, yeah, give me, give me that. I want to see some like strippers in love with each other. Like, I want to, because I'm like that happens, that right? Happens, if we're yes. like all these women who are working around each other, who are naked as hell, who are fucking like all this stuff. I know y'all got some stuff going on. So, 
Um, I don't know. To me, I'm still trying to figure out where this... Sh- I, I think for, like, m- black male stories, mm-hmm. oh my gosh, this is, like, cornerstone type of yeah, especially, content. Yes. I love it. I love yeah. Pussy Valley, but, like, Pussy Valley for dick stories? I don't know. You know, like, it just feels out of sorts to me. So, um... Yeah, I think queer canon. I think about black males. Yeah, love what it's doing there, but for Farah and Mercedes, I need more. Yeah, where does it fit in the queer canon for you? Um, well, it's interesting because I do think it is moving into this zone of you know who gets to tell what stories. Mm-hmm. Um, and do queer stories have to be told by queer people or is it more important to just have queer stories included in all kinds of stories? Cause we always hear nice. Um, yeah, and point. Katori Hall is not a queer man or woman to our knowledge. Um, but she does have, um, her brother is queer. And so she was taught, I was listening to an interview by her, um, on, and shout out to code switch for, uh, the podcast for talking about P Valley. And, um, you know, one of the things that she talks about in her interview is just wanting to tell good, responsible stories. And that she knows she, she doesn't know everything. She's not always going to get it right, but it feels really important to tell these stories because these people exist. Um, not just somewhere in, in fake Chuckalisa, uh, but, Everywhere in all of our lives. Mm-hmm. And um, I think that P Valley does a great job of showing queer stories that we don't typically get to see mm-hmm. um, and taking them to levels that we typically don't get to see. I love word, that this was word. not just like screen porn, which it easily could be on P Valley. You could just show us women looking hot, rolling around together. Um, fucking in front of men it could have easily just that could have been the whole story um and i think queer canon is when you have a straight writer who has the team that says no we have to see this fully out we have to give them real whole stories and i just love and appreciate that and i i hope more non-queer writers take note and take that kind of care in an approaching story so i appreciate it thank you katori i love that i love that and i want to say i think it's it, I, I wonder if the writers considered the flip because it's like okay if we are making this show and it's strippers it's a show about strippers we see really great dancing in the show we see these yeah. physiques you know like really celebrating the female figure and all that stuff. And I think knowing that that's going to attract a lot of dudes, maybe just to watch the show, just to yeah. be watching the show, but then it'd be like, actually dudes, let's hit y'all with some real shit. Yes. <laughs> you know, like we're actually going to throw this gay shit in here and yes. see if you still watch it and continue to like, yeah, you can tune into the women dancing, but the show is way deeper than just girls taking their clothes off. Yeah. And flipping around a pole. Flipping around a pole. Yep, yeah. Yep. Yep. So I think that that is really interesting in the queer canon too. Yes. Yes. So Well, we have to see more from Katori Hall. Here's hoping that we get a season three of P Valley. Yes, indeed. Um I think we need one personally. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Well that's it. That's yeah. it for Woman Crush this week. Um and tune in next time. Yeah. Let us know your thoughts. Who's your favorite, Mercedes or Farah? Yeah. Yeah. I want to know. I do too. (laughs) All right, y'all. Peace. Peace.